Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Today we are going to open up a new topic. Mensuration. One day, Anu and her mother went to a bookstall to purchase some items. She found two types of books there, red and blue. Blue being larger than red. From them she select the blue books. Then her mother asked. Why did she take a larger one from those? She told that she wants to write more in one page. While comparing the outlines of these two books, we can see paper in the blue book has more space than that in the red. That's why she took all the books of larger size and that space is termed as the area of the paper. That is, the area is the total space taken up by a flat surface or shape of an object. Similarly, we can see the lengths of the sides are also different. The length is the measurement of something from end to end and the total length or measure of its boundary is termed perimeter. That is, the perimeter is the distance around a plane shape. These papers have both area and perimeter. Since this shape has two measurements, like length and breadth, it is also called a two-dimensional shape. Today, let's see some two-dimensional shapes and their measures. You already saw some shapes in the previous chapter, understanding quadrilaterals, which you can see by clicking on this pop-up or link in the description box. Let's recall one by one. What is it? Yes, it's a triangle. It's a two-dimensional shape. And if we take the base of the triangle as B, and the perpendicular distance to the base, that is, height is H, then the area of the triangle equals 1 by 2 multiplied by the base, multiplied by the height. That is, A equals 1 by 2 B H and its perimeter is the sum of the lengths of its three sides. We already saw the paper of the book. What is its shape? Yes, it is rectangular in shape. Since both pairs of opposite sides are equal and each angle is 90 degrees. The rectangle of length L and breadth B having area is A equals length multiplied by breadth. That is, A equals L multiplied by B, or LB. And the perimeter is 2 multiplied by L plus B. Here is a rectangle with all sides equal. Yes, it is a square. If we take the side of the square as A, then its area is side multiplied by side. That is, area equals A multiplied by A equals A square. And the perimeter is 4 multiplied by a side equals 4A. We know that the quadrilateral with opposite sides equal and parallel is called a parallelogram. If we take the base as B and the perpendicular height to the base as H, then the area is base multiplied by height. That is, A equals BH. Since the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal, its perimeter will be 2 multiplied by L plus B. Next, a circle is also a two-dimensional shape. It is the collection of points that all are equidistant from a fixed point. The fixed point is called the center of the circle and the distance between the center to any point on a circle is called its radius. If R is the radius, then the area of the circle is pi multiplied by the square of the radius. That is, A equals pi R square. And the perimeter or circumference is C equals 2 pi multiplied by the radius. That is, C equals 2 pi R. Let's have a quick recap. 
Today we discussed the area and perimeter of some plane shapes, such as triangle, rectangle, square, parallelogram, and circle. Before winding up, let us check how much you understood by doing an activity. 1. Find the area of a circle having a radius of 8 cm. 2. Find the perimeter of the rectangle having a length of 9 cm and a breadth of 4 cm. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.